lesson we're going to do the tune walk on boy in the key of b minor so capo 2 uh, a minor shape and we're going to do it largely in the style of doc watson he was the inspiration for this tune many people know him for doing this song and um, so we're going to work on his rhythm and of course the two um, solos that you heard the two arrangements that i've written up um, sit in that intermediate to advanced category there's a lot of syncopation going on just in general for the melody and then um, I did one down in kind of first position and then one that gets up on the neck and we work our way all the way up and down kind of uh, the fretboard a little bit. And there's a lot of really cool things that we talk about, some kind of classic doc moves, some, you know, some little doc motifs, if you will, just those little licks that you hear them do all the time. So we're going to cover some of that um, and that's integrated kind of all in the, all in the solos for both arrangements, all right? So if you'd like to purchase the full length version, as this just a preview here, you can click the link down there below in the description, it'll shoot you onto my site. And there it's gonna come with about 50 minutes of video, PDF tabs for both arrangements, three audio backing tracks, and a short rhythm lesson too. We are gonna cover the rhythm because the chords kind of bounce around and depending on who you play with, they might do it just slightly different, but I've written up pretty much what Doc Watson would approach it and his changes. And I talk about, yeah, how to strum it, and just again how to approach the rhythm uh, from that point of view so and if you really like the way I teach and approach learning and you want to access this lesson in over 350 video lessons at my site you click the link down there about being a member a premier member at the site and for a yearly or monthly fee do just that access my whole library of tunes everything you see at the site all three of my courses get inside the video exchange program where you can submit videos to me for critique a lot of cool features for a premier member. If you're looking to learn this style of music, this genre, I'm here to help and uh, get you um, get you going Yeah, in this style. So give it a look. If you're interested, for now, we're going to start walking through the first few measures. Walk on, boy. Capo second fret, key of B minor. Let's go for it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and start walking through walk on, boy, here. And we're doing it in the key of B minor, um, you know, A minor shape. But I got capo on the second fret, so we are sounding the key of B minor, okay? And uh, markings below the staff are right hand pick direction, so down, um, the down strokes are the staple symbols, and the up strokes are the V symbols, and so pay very close attention as there's lots of things going on here, hammer runs, pull offs, syncopation, triplets, and we wanna pay, pay very close attention to those um, right hand pick directions. Any markings above the staff, little numbers will be left hand fingerings. And of course I have the chords written above there too. But um, so here's these first few measures. And it starts on beat three. Um, so it sounds like this. So one, two, three, four, one, two. All right, we encounter some syncopation uh, almost right away. Um, we're following that melody as best we can, especially at the front half of the solo here. Okay, and um, what was I going to say? Um, we'll, we'll 
let's just start right here. Beat, beat three, so uh, open open D, second fret D, and then a quarter note on the open G. Oh, I know what I was gonna say is I am swinging the eighth notes. That's it. So this uh, the whole arrangement again. I'm adding a lot of swing to it, and that's just the feel of the eighth notes. Eighth notes so long, short, long, short, long, short, and that's the way. Um, yep, I'm approaching the tune and the feel of the solo. So. And then second measure, uh, second fret of the G string, quarter note there, and then two eighth notes, and then open G, quarter note, and second fret D. So pretty, pretty easy right here on the top. Okay, and then the next measure, we got some syncopation here. So 0, 2, pick on the D string. And then as you see, there's a note in parentheses, right, with a little line going across to it. So that's a tie. So we don't play the note that's in parentheses. So we have actually two notes that are tied over to in this, in this measure. We're going to see this little rhythmic theme motif all over the place for this, um, for this solo, for both arrangements. We're going to see, again, this, a similar rhythm because that's kind of the way, again, the melody sits. Uh, so I'll, I'll cover it in depth here for the first time, and then as we go along the lesson, I'll move through it quicker, of course. But yeah, one and two and three, one and two and three and four and... So there's three ups in a row in the middle of that measure. And four and... So down, up... Up, up, down, up, and you see my right hand still kind of moving in the directions that it should. If you know, if I was to just pick it through, um, it's still kind of going up and down. I'm just, of course, not playing it. And that helps me keep my timing and keep the fluidity going. Because again, those syncopation, that's, that's you know, it's um, tricky and you want to be able to fall into it. You want to feel comfortable doing it because um, that's what's going to make it feel good and, and, you know, sound good to the listener. So really falling into those upstrokes, the upbeats, right? Down picks on downstrokes, up picks on upbeats. So the downbeats are one, two, three, four. Up picks are what's in between the ands and so... Here we have syncopation on all the ands. One and two and three and four and that last open D, second fret D, open G. Okay, so we're gonna see this over and over. Uh, three, four. see this over and over again um, or s very similar things uh, you know, not a super ton but certainly it's, it's gonna be present um, so master <laughs> that little again rhythmic theme or motif if you will and um, that will kind of a trick to getting the whole feel of this solo so um, those three measures in context a couple times so one two shows to kind of lean into them a little bit just you know a little slight accent you know that really helps again the feel of the tune uh, last time one two the next three measures here we have some similar things um, still playing that melody on the head there for the most part so three four okay so that measure right uh, measure four is the same as measure two second fret a 
I'm sorry, that's an A note. Second fret G string. It's an A note in relation to the capo. Um, so one, and then a couple eighth notes. Open G. Second fret D. And then this measure is almost like measure three, but I um, just changed up just a little bit. Uh, the phrase is a little different. It's still a little syncopated. It's got some long, it ties over for a longer period of time. One and two and three and so upstroke on the D open D on the and beat three. All right, so it might seem like a long hold when we're just kind of breaking it down, but as you play it up to speed, um, it won't be as bad. But you're gonna have to you know count it out perhaps. But again, it's tied over to a. I know it's hard to see there a little bit, but it's a dotted quarter note, so it's tied over to a beat and a half. So that measure. One and two and three and four and that's the count, that's the rhythm for it. One and I hammered on, of course, zero two hammering on. You could pick it too, but I chose to hammer it on there. One and two and three and four and I'm still comfortable with that upstroke on the open D there. And then the next measure. Second fret of the G again, quarter note there, then a couple eighth notes, and then open G, second fret D, open G. Ready, go. Up. All right, let's put all three of those measures together. Two, three, four. spot for you so one two again go two, three and four and one more time one two three four one and two and three and four and okay so listen to the practice tracks there really would shed that area use the metronome um, for those syncopated measures um, you'll be happy you did uh, it'll just set you up kind of for success so to speak for the solo but you know and being right there not too early not too late right in the pocket so cool one two three. 